Sometimes I'm doing good in class and sometimes I'm doing bad. This high school student says the uncertainty caused by COVID has been tough. But the head of the teachers' union says direction would have cut down on the disarray. The government seems to want to indicate the way things should go without actually making decisions. Saskatchewan was the only province in which students' return to class wasn't delayed. Two weeks ago, Education Minister Dustin Duncan said schools should be the last to close and the first to open. But now, some are moving online. On Monday, the Regina Public School Division said more than 500 people tested positive the week prior, straining school operations. On Tuesday, it announced all high schools were moving to remote learning on Thursday for three days to protect staff and students from COVID ahead of finals. Regina Catholic high schools, meanwhile, say students who can't make their exam because of COVID don't have to take them. And two Saskatoon public schools have been pushed online, including the 1,300 student Centennial Collegiate. Patrick Mays says the different strategies are causing confusion for teachers and potentially creating disadvantages for students. They affect kind of the integrity of the system and uh, certainly the uh, academic program. Each school division makes their own decision. A government official says they're best suited to do so. The schools, the school divisions in question have worked with their local medical health officers and they made this decision in order to limit the spread of COVID as much as possible. Kevin Gable says students belong in the classroom. Mays agrees, but says they need to be there safely. Dr. Saqib Shahab said around a quarter of community transmission for Delta took place in schools, and he expects that to hold for Omicron. Mays says high transmission means overwhelmed students and teachers, and education depends on students being healthy. There, one constant throughout the pandemic? Instability. I'm still thinking that finals are the best way to go, just because we don't know how much longer they're going to be this way, right? Nathaniel Dove, Global News.